Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and today's video we are going to be opening up my Owl Crate box for the month of July. So this actually came a lot faster than I expected because Owl Crate had mentioned that they're delayed in shipping because some of the items were delayed coming to them. Um, so I was expecting to get this box in August uh, but I ended up getting a little bit earlier so I'm pretty excited to look at what we have inside because Owlcrate is always amazing so this is a bookish subscription box for those of you who don't know it is $32.99 for a box per month plus shipping and it usually contains a newly released young adult book as well as about four or five little bookish items and every box has a theme and the theme for the month of July is potions and poisons so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got so opening up the box the very top we do have the spoiler card and they're always so beautifully designed on the back it just tells you everything you need to know about the items in the box so the first thing on our box is actually inside this other box and this is from the Owl Cray Apothecary and this is the Bibliophile Brew and the back of it says suffering from a bout of reader's block our TBR jar is just the cure that you need write the titles of any unread books from your TBR list on small slips of paper and toss in a jar whenever you're unsure about which book to pick up off of your shelves draw a random title to let fate decide your next read designed with love by Ligon and Limestone Okay, so it's a TBR jar, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, and it's really pretty. Okay. It says at the bottom, take one when experiencing literary indecisiveness. It's really, really pretty. And then the back of it says, let Owl Crate Apothecary decide your fictional fate. The next thing that I see on the box is our monthly enamel pin. This is in every single one of our crate boxes. And here's what it looks like. It actually looks pretty cool. It is a heart. That's a potion with bones. So there's a lot going on on this one. But I really, really like the design of this. The next thing that I see is actually this bottle. And it is water mint and clementine bubble elixir to use as a bubble bath so this is from fictional bath company and it's a vi it's called vial of dreams this is what it looks like according to our spoiler card it says fictional bath bomb has created a magical self-care item for fans of the midnight lie this bubble elixir inspired by the vial of dreams in the book has the absolutely dreamiest scent you can use it for bubble baths or as a shower the next gel. thing that i see is actually this and i think this might be like hand sanitizer but it comes on a keychain and there is this pretty cool design it looks like the design from the enamel pin you can see it Okay, so this is an empty jar. Um, I thought it would be like a hand, hand sanitizer kind of thing. Uh, Blissfully Bookish Company reimagined Lucy Healing Cordial for the design embossed on our Narnia inspired bottle keychain. If you want to stick with medicinal vibes, we suggest filling it with your favorite hand sanitizer. But lotion would work as well. Um, so, okay, so you're supposed to use the bottle, I guess, and fill it up with your own hand sanitizer. The next thing that I see is oh, these are so pretty. This is an animal bookmark. This one says, uh, drink me. The other one says, eat me. But these are really, really pretty. The back of it says, use this to mark your place in a book you're currently reading by placing the length of... It just, it's telling you how to use it. We've all been tempted by the fictional foods before, right? Herbarial Art took the iconic cookie and potion from Alice in Wonderland and turned them into an enamel bookmark with lovely cottage witch vibes. Okay, so this is inspired by uh, Alice in Wonderland, but it is actually a really 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 pretty the next item in the box is actually this it's really weirdly shaped and it says Fenburn's fatal frozen delicacies oh okay it's a popsicle holder brew up your own unique popsicle flavor and store them in this handy holder simply fill with liquid place in your freezer and enjoy once frozen also works great as a portable case for snacks I feel like Owl Crate is getting super creative with the items that they said like a popsicle holder. And the next item in the box is actually this cloth item. Here's what it looks like. At the top it says Poison Garden. It's actually really, really pretty. Let's see what the Owl Crate card says. 
Oh, and by the way, the popsicle mode is inspired by Three Dark Crown. Feast your eyes on some deadly flora with Amy Max illustration gorgeous artwork of poisonous plants. This labyrinth lost inspired tea towel invokes vintage style botanical prints and will also make a lovely mini tapestry when hung on your wall. Okay, so this is a tea towel. You could also use it to decorate your walls if you like it. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's really pretty. All right, and we have finally gotten to our book and our book for the month of July from Owl Crate is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Baring. I have heard of this book and I've seen a couple people haul it. Um, I haven't heard too much else about it. Obviously, it's a new release, so I haven't heard anybody's opinions on this, but let's go ahead and take a look at the book. This is an exclusive signed edition. Um, so here's what the Owl Crate version looks like. Here's what the original looks like. As you can see, they changed the background color and they changed like her shirt color. Her shirt color in the original is red instead of green. We do get also a letter from the author. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the naked cover. Here's the signature. Okay, here is the naked cover. It's actually really, really pretty. And there's art underneath the dust jacket and here's what it looks like it's actually really pretty i like the style of this art it's really pretty all right so according to our spoiler card darkness blooms in this new contemporary fantasy about a girl with unique and deadly power inspired by greek myths and the secret garden poison heart features a century old curse a walled garden of full of deadly botanicals and dangerous elixirs sounds pretty pretty cool i am excited to start this book um it just it actually doesn't seem like it's that long and so it'll be an easy a, a quick and easy read even for someone like me who's going through a reading slump and there you go guys that is all for this month's unboxing everything was great Owlcrate is great as well so if you would like to subscribe to Owlcrate, i'll let you guys know what the theme for next month is all right and the theme for the August box is Dark Academia. Every August box will include a book sleeve with artwork from St. Dree. A book sleeve. I'm so excited. I love book sleeves. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite item. I really like the TBR jar, but I'm someone who is an emotional reader, I guess you could say. I pick out the books that I want to read at the moment. But I like the idea of it. I also like the bubble bath thing. Oh Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All of my social medias are linked down below including Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads if you'd like to follow me on those platforms. Hope to see you guys on my next video. Have a good day, guys, and keep reading. Bye!